Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Yes, it's been a long time. It's been about a week, hasn't it? I know I got the fresh cut. Y'all been there, want me to get that? Looking good, like always. How y'all been? Y'all doing good? You know, cool. That's what's up, how the family found it. There you go, appreciate it. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're back with another video for you guys today. Y'all know what it is. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get your kicks and 808s to sound nice, punchy in your face and mix good together with using stop plugins. And guess what? FL Studio 20. But before we get in there, if you can, follow me on the channel. We'll subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Follow me on all my social media at Mr. Different TV, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud. Y'all know the drill. Hey, it's right in the bottom of the screen. Just do it, you know, right there. Yeah, right. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you guys how to make your kicks sound kicks and 808 sound nice and crisp and punchy and mix good inside FL 20. So, this is a little loop I got right here. It's not as special. It's very basic, just like your boy right here. Gotta be basic beats. Y'all know that. So, let's go. I said very simple beat nothing special there it's just what it is so let's go ahead and make this thing sound good make the kicks and 808s kind of blend together better because right now we can tell it is a little distorted because of the 808s but it's fine we can fix that mixing and the kick is kind of getting buried with that hard 808 here so if we just mute both of them and solo them you can hear You know, we want to make it to where, you know, even when the kick and the 808 do hit at the same time, you can hear them because the kick does kind of have its own little vibe and groove going on right now, as we can see. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, first off, we're going to process the kick first. The kick. Yes, kick drum. I'm using my favorite kick drum called Grim. So yeah, so let's go ahead and process that. Our first thing I like to do is we're gonna do some EQ because like I said we're using stop plugins today, so we're gonna use some uh, Fruity EQ too because it is the best EQ in FL Studio. So where is my boy? Where my baby? Yeah, and there it is. Fruity Parametric EQ two. It is very good. It's dope. Look at that vectorial interface. So let's see what a fundamental kick is. So look like in this area and right around here is where most of the kick kind of live so what we're going to do first and i'm going to turn this to a low pass i use double click you can turn to a low pass or if you want to you can just uh, can you go back to the default thank you you can go right here you can turn the type to a low pass filter and then we're just going to change the cue a little bit we're going to change make it to an 8 db we're going to do like 8 db per octave real quick because that's really steep and then we're just going to cut off some of these these highs to kind of make it a little bit more focused and more in your face. So, now what I like to do is go all the way to I really much take the kick away and then bring it back to I, you know, get it back to where it sounds natural. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, always go extreme and then back off. So right about there, it's gonna be nice. Now we could add a little bit of more thump in this fundamental area if you want to. We'll do that just cause you know, I love you guys and we love the boost stuff on this channel. Unlike my views and stuff like that, which really need to be boosted and my likes, like the video. But I'm not gonna boost it that high, we're gonna bring it down. Just a little, just give it a little, just a little bit of thump. Okay, just so it just has a little bit of nice crispiness to it. So yeah, so before, sounds kind of flabby then. And that's gonna make it blend better with the rest of the elements in the mix as well. And you know, cause not taking up a whole lot. You could cut some of the lows, the sub frequencies, but we're not gonna do that cause the kick junk. It's all good, we'll leave it down there. Uh, what else we can do? We can soft clip it. That's another thing I like to do, is use a fruity soft clipper. So where's my fruity soft clipper? Or you can use fruity wave shaper. Whichever one sounds good to you, you know. I'm gonna soft clip a little bit, so we're gonna bring the threshold down, and we're gonna just bring the post up. So, so before. We're just gently soft clipping it to give it just a little bit more of that that punch back and that uh, kind of little bit of highs back into it. 
And like I said, you can experiment. You can go just play around with it till you get the sound you want. I just want a kind of a subtle sound. But soft clipping can really make it sound nice. Um, anything else we can do with that, Slim? I don't know. What else can we do to it that's uh, fruity capable? That's probably all I would personally do. Um, I would, I could use distortion as well. Distortion is always dope. So we use like fruity fast distortion, for example. I'll just show you a little example. You know, a little saturation to kick drums never hurt nothing. That much does. So we're going to bring, I like to use the heat preset. It just works dope. And then bring the mix down. Or now since they have fruity, they have that fruity, but they have delayed compensation. You can now parallel process it. Maybe that's a little bit too much heat. So I'm gonna bring the threshold down. There we go. They're gonna bring something back in there. And then, you know, but nah, not th not for this beat. But I, I do use uh, Decapitator when doing that, but since it's not stop plugging. But yeah, I might add some saturation, but nah, don't need it for this one. So let's just go back to what we had before. Before we had this. Flabby, ill, gross, and then I got. Has a little bit more thump, a little bit more punch. It's gonna help us. Uh, make sure you listen to good on some good headphones or speakers. Okay, so now let's work on the 808 now because that's the next element. So 808. That typical 808 everybody's using. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do to this is we're just going to... Let's see what the EQ is telling us. For, I like the EQ my 808 sometimes, depending on what it does. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, so what I might do is take away... Since we at the fundamental was about 60 on the regular on the kick drum we're gonna take about 60 out of the out of the kick drum because that's gonna give the kick a little bit more space so you can uh take a little bit out of, that, out of the 808 so don't go too far just a little bit You know, because the kick drum gonna live in there, but we're gonna keep everything else. I could cut some of the highs if I wanted to, like so I could turn this back to a low pass and then, you know, roll off stuff again, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see what it sounds like though. Mm. I like that. It sounds like a lot more focused and a lot more, you know, tight. You know what I'm saying? Like tight. Yeah. Yeah. Tight. But anyway, uh, next I'm going to add some fruity distortion because I like distortion on my 808s. I don't know about you guys, but I like distortion. So we're going to add fast distortion. And then we're going to turn to my favorite preset. I like the heat preset. I just, it's, it's amazing. I like to tweak it. So we're turning the thresh a little bit. That's gonna help it kind of hit in like the you know and small speakers and stuff like that you'll be able to hear it with that little buzzing sound and it'll be able to all right let's play the kick and 808 together now well before 808 before and after And then both together. But the kick is still getting buried in the mix. So how are we going to remedy that, Slim? We're going to use something called side chaining. And that's going to be very, very easy to do. All you got to do is you're going to throw a limiter. So we'll throw a fruity limiter on the 808. So fruity limiter. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to turn it to compression mode. Then we're going to go to the kick. Drum, and then all you gotta do is go to where the 808 is in your channel, 
right click down here and go to side chain of this track. It's gonna make a side chain right there. So now the kick will trigger this compressor over here. And if we go to side chain, you can right click and just go to kick. Now in time the kick drum hits, it's going to duck or side chain or compress the 808 so the kick can push down or punch through, I say push down. So I like to always turn my ratio all the way up, turn my knee all the way up, turn my threshold down. I like to have a hard knee, like full blown limiting on the compressor. And then I like to turn this sustain off, I, I hate that. And now I bring the, the threshold down until I get a, enough ducking of the 808, so. And then you just want to mix the, you want to play around with the release. I like to leave my attack really fast, but then you mess around with the release, the, the release, the release. So, you know, you get the right amount of sidechain. And there we go. Now we play everything back together and we have, oh, might want to unmute everything. Let's bring it up a little bit so you can hear a little better. And there you go. So like I said before, with no effects. And then with effects. And of course, you're gonna have to mix it. Of course, like that. I'm gonna have to blend it and level it and all that. But, like I said, easy way to get some punch in your 808s and your kicks, and also help them mix together. All you gotta do, add a little bit of EQ, a little bit of saturation, soft clipping, and side chaining can make any kick, any 808 fit together and then knock in any system, whether you got small speakers, big speakers, car speakers, or you got a cell phone, or you use something like this, as wireless crowd to drop a remote, and anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy as that, and you don't need no third-party plugins. Shout out to Stock Plugins, FL Gang, all day long. Let's go. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. If you got any questions, please leave me a comment, leave me a like, you know, whatever. Leave a dislike if you're a hater, because you know haters are always welcome on this channel. But like always, remember, keep making beats. And I'm Slim, your boy, Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. So subscribe now. Catch you guys later.